Welcome back to Gate Insider, a channel dedicated to serving the manufacturing community around the world. Thank you to our host, GreatGages.com, a one-stop shop for all your precision measuring needs. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to never miss an upload. Hi, I'm Drew Klaber with Minnetoy America Corporation. I'm here with Jeremy Banks, who's our National Data Management Sales Specialist. And today we're going to be discussing the addition of the UA Fit to our wireless data management lineup. So Jeremy, here I have our traditional U-Wave system. Um, this works for the majority of my applications. However, I do have a few customers that may be concerned because of the length of this cable or maybe the positioning of the transmitter with the bracket that there could be potential for interference with the ID jaws of the caliper. So Drew, I have heard that concern before. Uh, so from the factory, we have a new product it's called the UA Fit. It comes okay. in two models, uh, one's for the caliper, one's for the micrometer. Uh, this lower profile design will fit closer to the gauge and alleviate some of those concerns. Cool. Can you show us? Yes, sir. So Drew, here we have a traditional caliper with our UAT connected. It has a connection cable connecting the transmitter to the gauge. Um, I'm going to go ahead and remove this. So I'm going to disconnect the connector and then remove the transmitter. Um, the exact same gauge, I'm going to use our new UA Fit. Our UA Fit is a transmitter and a small connector. There's no more cable. I'm going to go ahead and connect that to the gauge. And so now we have our traditional caliper with the UA Fit connected. So Jeremy, if I'm looking at this correctly, this is still a two-piece system in effect, correct? Because we have the connector, which is one piece, and the transmitter, which is a separate piece. That's correct. So we have the connector, we have the transmitter. It's just like our older model. We had the UAT and then the connecting cable. So with the different connectors, it allows us to connect to different IP rated gauges. So speaking of the IP rating, I'm noticing on here that we have the three dots. So I'm guessing this is not the IP rated model, correct? Correct. That's the buzzer type. We have a very similar model Ah, okay. Yeah, so we have a very similar model for IP67 that doesn't beep because it's sealed. So what if I have an existing U-Wave receiver? Is that compatible with my previous generation as well as the current version of U-Wave? Right, right. So the current receiver and the current transmitters, of course, connect to each other. The U-Wave Fit is designed with a similar chip technology that will connect directly to the U-Wave R. The existing gauges will work along with the new ones. So if I have an indicator that's maybe using a traditional U-Wave transmitter and I have a caliper using the U-Wave Fit, I can send data from both of those tools into the same receiver, whether it's the latest generation receiver or one that a customer already has on their, on their floor. That's exactly correct. So the new U-Wave Fit, whether it's the caliper or the micrometer version, will work with the old receiver and the uh, UAT will continue to work in the same combination. That's great. And I notice that this is very nice and form fitting. It fits the caliper exactly. But what if I'm going to use this with a micrometer? Okay. Well, we have the other model. It's the, uh, the UAV TM. So it's the exact same um, configuration. It has a connector and then it has a form fitted transmitter. Let's take a closer look at that. So Drew, if you look here, you can see that we have a micrometer and it's been fitted with a connector and a uh, UAVE TM transmitter. Uh, you can see that it fits behind the back of the gauge and it fits very closely to the back of the gauge so you don't have any gap. Uh, it's easier to use, fits in the hand better. Very nice and form fitting and I'm guessing since this model does not have the three holes on the back, that this is the IP67 rated version? Correct. This one is the IP67 rating. Um, it, it actually is better than the IP65 of the gauge, so you're not going to have to worry about any coolant contamination. Once again, thank you so much for watching Gauge Insider. For more information, visit greatgauges.com or you can look down in the description for our toll-free number. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.